How's it going everyone? We have another workbench video here for you. This time got a couple pairs of Aldens. Um, they're both wingtip boots and they're both from brick and mortar Seattle. This one we have the uh, kind of the infamous Yenny boot and then this is their wingtip boot in the uh, earth reverse chamois. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, these are pretty cool boots, and if you can't tell, they're pretty different from the rest of my collection. I tend to kind of favor favor the uh, Pacific Northwest, you know, service boot slash lace to toe style boots. Um, with these, I just really appreciated the the pattern and the overall overall look of these boots. Um, I like. Alden, you know, as a company, I like what they do. I like their tradition. And to me, the wingtip boot in a rough out chamois or suede leather is a, it's a pretty cool and <clears throat> pretty versatile boot. What I mean by that is you could, you know, dress it up enough for me, at least the types of you know, events and, and uh, w weddings that I go to, you can dress it up enough to wear at a wedding. But um, I, I also wear them to work with, the, you know, a pair of blue jeans sometimes. Um, you can dress them down enough to really uh, make these versatile in a lot of situations. Um, so this one is the Yenny, and this is the uh, Snuff Suede. Um, so wingtip boot, Snuff Suede, Commando Half Sole, um, you know, this is Alden's proprietary half sole. It's kind of like a, you can see that seam there. It's like, a, it's like a tongue and groove. Um, so, you know, this commando style half sole is, is bonded and seamed in with this, uh, leather outsole. There's a, that little stack there is actually fiberboard. It's not leather. And then that midsole that that welt is attached to, that real thin midsole, is also fiberboard. Um, that is one of the biggest knocks that, that you, you'll hear people say about Alden is, you know, for the price, you're getting fiberboard. Um, and from what from what I've seen, um, it really doesn't create too much of an issue. It might just be a personal, personal thing. Um, I will say the stuff I have seen is, you know, that a little bit of, delamination um on the uh on the commando soles there um that seems to be kind of a common thing with the alden commando um you know it's kind of more of just like it's more of a it's really thin it's not it's not attached to this piece here this the little rubber piece under the toe um it, it is pretty thin so it's kind of more of just like a toppy on a leather sole um but it, it's grippy and it's comfortable and they're super flexible. I mean, here, I'll, I'll pull a shoe tree out of this, but I mean, these boots are super flexible. You know, I, I dare you to try to do that with a, a, a true, you know, leather, <laughs> leather sole, half sole, like a true Vibram Commando. Um, these boots are fully lined. As you can see, I do have a uh, an insert in there. The Pedag, Pedog holiday inserts. Um, I like those in these boots. Just, I feel like I've gotten so used to the the support and the, the the arch bump of the Pacific Northwest boots, like whites and and stuff and Nicks, that um, these Aldens were maybe a little a little flat feeling for me. And they do have arch support. Um, but not quite as much as, as those other brands that I'm kind of used to that I tend to favor. So in order for me to really wear these for any extended period of time, um, I like to wear those inserts. It also, also has to do with a little bit of the sizing. Um, so these are both Barry last boots. Um, Barry is one of the more popular lasts for all of them, along with the, you know, the True Balance, the classic indie last. Um, Sorry guys, my dog's walking around. She might be making noise here in the background if you hear that. Um, oh yeah, also if you see some blue on my nails, um, 
I got a two and a half year old daughter that uh, wanted to paint them. So, you know, that's what that's about. <laughs> All those uh, girl dads can relate to me, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, so this is a similar boot, wingtip boot, um, very last earth reverse chamois. Um, so I size these are both 10 and a halfs. And if you've been paying attention to my other videos, you might think that that sounds um, maybe a half size too big, and you're probably right. Um, but uh, I got the Yannis first. They were used. Um, I got them from a, um, an Instagram user, Seattle Boots. And then these came from the Shoe Nerd, um, used as well, all the way from India. And uh, I tried the Yannis first, um, and they fit actually really well with those inserts. Um, they really don't feel too big on me. That being said, do not take any sizing advice from me for, about Alden. They have so many sizes and they're really, as a company, they're really passionate about uh, about their sizing. So if, if you have a store close by, I would just go and get fitted because um, I'm certainly not one to speak on that. But the Barry Last is really nice. It's not, you know, it's not uh, super pointed. It's a pretty round toe. Um, which helps helps these be, you know, a pretty casual boot. Um, has a nice slim silhouette. Um, these feel like yeah, it's got, you know partially structured toe. Um, it's a really nice silhouette. I really like the the Barry Last. Um, it's a. Uh, it just it just works well with my foot. Um, I, I have a pair of true balance indies coming from alden madison um and they should be should be in october um i'll make a video then and, and maybe compare some of the the berry to um true balance boots but you can see i really like this this earth reverse chamois it's uh you know it's kind of black it's kind of gray it's kind of blue it's kind of green depends on the light um basically what you know how alden gets this texture from what i've <clears throat> what i've heard and and read is that they actually just use pure um, neat's foot oil and they and they do a little bit of a coating on on the chamois you know suede rough out leathers um i guess I'm, I'm not sure it's a little more nappy than suede um so i guess chamois is its own you know type of deal um but that's kind of how you get that kind of oily look is that neat's foot oil. So I guess you could reapply it if you wanted to. Um, I haven't yet, haven't worn these enough. Um, but I like to wear them, they're comfy. Uh, you know, I'll wear them to church or something on the weekends, I'll wear them. Um, just, uh, it's not, not an everyday boot for me, not an everyday style for me. I like to be a little more casual. Um, People that are into dress boots will probably say that these are super casual boots and hey, you're probably right. But uh, for me, I'm, I'm a tattoo artist. These are these are pretty dressy for, for a tattoo artist. <laughs> um, I'll say the, the biggest differences between the two boots is the heel. So the Earth Reverse boots have the, the heel foxing and the broguing and the Yenny's do not, the Yenny's have just that plain heel um, some people like that some people don't um, i know alden madison has a very similar snuff suede wingtip boot um, that has that heel foxing and the broguing and uh, it looks good i think it works on this i think it would look equally good on the yenny um, but i know this is brick and mortars the, the yenny is brick and mortars um kind of signature boots uh just named after the, i think the owner yenny um it's just one of her one of her designs one of her makeups and it's it's a constant there um so i like it i, I like both i should say um the the heel foxing <laughs> and that broguing um i don't know if i like one more than the other side by side there so yeah pretty quick video um oh yeah i should just talk about that so these are both fully lined boots um it's real soft you know like a, a landscape i'm not sure if it's landskin or what but it's a it's a glove like leather um 
I'm kind of indifferent to lined, lined boots. Um, I don't love them. I don't hate them. So, you know, I live in Northern California here. It never really gets cold enough to absolutely need the extra warmth I feel that a, that a lined boot um, gives. Uh, I think it makes them a little less breathable, but overall it gives them I guess a more luxurious feel. Um, it, it definitely feels feels different than online boots. Um, if you never experienced it, it just it feels a little a little heftier. Um, it feels nice slipping your foot in there. You know, I won't I won't argue that. But uh, if I when I go made to order boots, you know, overseas or or here, I, I always go online just because I don't I don't find it necessary. My feet get my feet get pretty hot as is, so I don't think that I need that. Um, these are both the uh, Stormwelt. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. Uh, I'm definitely not an all an expert, so, well, I'm not, I'm not an anything expert, so I can't really, hopefully these, there's some info in here for anyone looking, but mainly I just wanted to, to show these boots off and, um, you know, it's good to see them I think in videos the stock photos only only do so much for for some people so um, if you were looking for some more videos of a Yanny and or Earth Reverse sham, Chamois um, an Alden wingtip boot uh, I hope this video helped um, if you liked it let me know in the comments if you if you hate my style and my rambling um, also let me know in the comments uh, just doing this for fun and I thank you guys for continuing to watch all right, have a good day.